Stalker, a Bart Herdenberg, a Gene Edmondson, Australian made. Herdenberg was a big engine. Sometimes he could pull chains, but sometimes he was too weak and had to stay in the yard. One morning, Herdenberg was stealing at his father of himself. He said to James, You know, James, I suffered dreadfully and no one cares. James said, Rubbish, Herdenberg, you don't work hard enough. The Fed controllers don't take home at all. You're too expensive, Herdenberg, he said. You have had lots of new parts and new paint tall. But they've done your no good. If we can't make you better, well, we'll have to get another engine instead of you. Hm. Sorry. This did him good. Stupid and his family for the side. The train of the things will have to knock it much longer with you. All right, sir. Herdner went to the forest railway to meet the little ponies. In Barnes Lane Station, Trainmaid and the friends came to see. What shall I do, Henry? he asked. I'm a bad steamer and won't do the work when I make this. Speck of a swimming hen is tender. Yuck! He said. The me taste her and can't make me beef her. That's what's wrong with hen. It's not making him well. I happen to stand a cold toy. It's black stuff. Um, uh, it's hard to describe. The outside is burnful, and the insides are burnful. But the insides are done dry. What he needs is another coal burn. He's got a coal man in tunnel cover. Spread, being cheeky and off. Hey, Spread, come back here, said Twain Nerd. Found him. What? David Perlner's arrow. Ah, there we are. Listen, Hidden is not well, so we need to find a coal in the tunnels, tunnel cover. Oh, hey, Percy. Hey, Apple Pro. 
Why are we run teasing Twenberg and the other partners? Because when every problem we secretly help out. Come on, guys. Master! That's truly coming. Okay, let's go up there. Buff! Wait a minute, Spig. In the needle. I'll give the word. Here we go.
most of the fifth confirmers engines accepted diesels. James had never met them. They're all right, said Kramer. Just mix traffic engines like yonder. Mix up engines you'll need, James grunted, but wrinkles at each end. How can they know if they're coming or going? Toby has talk heads, remarked Doug, and he gets some of it. Toby's in the top engine, scoffed James. If the important engine they can they didn't know which way to turn, what would the railway come to? All the engines agreed that James is thinking of yesterday when he crashed into the signal and you again became all puffed up in the smoke box. Making out he's royal too, or something. It's disgusting, grumbled Hedner. I know an engine called King James, remarked Doug. In the old days, at Paddington, King James, there he was, but he didn't spank her back like that. You shouldn't tell James that, she had done. It's even more than this of her, he'll be making our names. Exactly, agreed Henry. But I was going to turn this wheels off, father. The engines spread all sorts of factors, but nothing worked. James grew so conceited that the others occurred. He was away. One day, James came to the shed, filming with rage. Shunting, he snorted. Why the Donald and Douglas? They shot the first, the jobs back there. But the twins were hoping on another branch name somewhere. So James had to draw the work himself. James has I had long trucks called, well, wagons. These have broken wheels at each end. With a narrow section between them, they were yours to carry cars, tractors, and other machinery. The shunting should have been easier, but James is cross and bump the trucks. Oh, 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 oh! They cried. Some of them slipped their brakes on. James got water when he heard them snip. To make things worse for him, the points were switched by mistake. When one of the trucks was halfway over them, one broke up went the right way, but the other was diverted towards the city. Stop! Stop now! Cried James. He wasn't going 
fast, he slowed down intensely and stood on the leg. Sorry, said the signal man. In Switzerland, Harold. It's a good thing we're all right, said James. I'm glad there's no signal about. James cleared up the almost mess, then set off again. He hoped to spend some teasing about this. Here is the clock, the Greendale clock, telling the time sensibly, never talk quickly, and never talk slowly, telling the time for Greendale.
Taken to draw the works, and the workman made him another temper of the coupling. If the John is tender, the chairman and fairman then lit in your fair and drove him gently home. He knew Edward would. Oh, had of course seen everything but telling the others. They were careful what they talked about that night. Mr. Henry, he was touched on the subject of affairs for some time afterwards. James quickly noticed. He didn't want to have experienced how the spirits of Nancy's accident. He was careful afterwards. Never to yank his tender coupling again.
I wonder what postman Nobis is talking about the post box. That's it. He's putting the post or the back into the box so he doesn't have time to move it. Postman Nobis has delivered the post for half of the village and the shop which is flooded with letters. And now he's dumping a parcel in the bin. Lonnie Postman, said Percy. It's been a busy day for Postman Rubbers. No wonder he's turned from putting all the post in his cupboard copy of a turn. See you all not next time, Postman Rubbers.
expert, he's punching a back into the box of post so he doesn't have to deliver it. Postman Paul has delivered the post for half of the village and the house which was empty for ten months. And now he's dropping a parcel in the drain. Blooming postman, said Percy. It's been a busy day for Postman Paul. No wonder he's tired from making a pair of mail copy for the time. See you not next time, Paul.
Let's meet its Princess Lorna. Celeste's sister. She's an alicorn and she turns herself into a nightmare morn. <clears throat> and there was a story about us doing a Christmas work. It is based on Mr. Snow and Mr. Ben's service, made from Arthur, made, made from Roger Hargreaves and narrated by Arthur Snow. It's coming soon. Let's cut to the story of Deep Freeze Australian Maid. <laughs> seemed harder than ever. James's driver stopped him beside the water column there. We'll give you a good topping up where well, we can, said James's driver. There's no telling when we might get some more. James shivered as the ice of water cascaded into his tender, but he knew his jabber was right. They filled James's tent to the brim because the fairman forgot to tell the jabber to turn the tap off. Water overflowed on to James's tender, making him shift again. Right, said the fairman, jumping down from the footplate. This brother want to shovel some coal to get myself warm. <laughs> he can't go yet, laughed the jailer. They haven't finished loading the luggage bed. Well, I wish they'd have it, grumbled the fairman, booming on his hands. 
I'm fine from standing on the tender. All engines have a tap called an injector. It allows the driver or fireman to transfer water from the tender to the boiler. And it's even harder. The amount of the water level in the boiler can become tall enough to make steam coffee. They've not gone far enough and far enough to get the steam so thirsty. His driver switched on the injector. Nothing happened. The fireman changed chocolate cut. Still nothing. Oh, I've got such a pain. Oh, James. Hmm, your injector's failed, said his driver. Blockage in the pipe motion, I could put it down. We'll have to stop and deal with your fare. Water. Don't sit the jet cross up there. He's just a new. Don't want me. James's driver asked the signalman to telephone for help. The wax sent her diesel on James had never meant to help him. Turn they reached the works of diesel and one in Roper. Told them to check it out over the fence. James's fireman climbed onto the tender. He tried to open the fillet cut, but couldn't. There's your answer, James. He said, your fillet cut's frozen solid. That's because the water overflowed. This is stopping us from getting into the tank, so the injectors can't work. You'll be all right when the earth moves. He was, and that wasn't all. Things took his mouth and from the works. And the engine is different, but the mouth spot on the railway.
This one is Centenary. Centenary Australian Mary. One day in the early summer in the 2014, the Fat Controller held a meeting of the engines. You all have all heard, he announced, a bunch of maker, the new star of terror, Mr. Christmas. Isn't he the one who made Mr. Thomas? Well, don't, Thomas, repeated the Fat Controller. When he was young in the first two thousands, he had a chain sitting. His sister's room, but it was not downstairs. He didn't start your shop work after he went to a little school called Kingston Primary School. Then he went to her school. Certainly, he didn't hurt it when a man took a teacher's place. Worked there for once, and then he was not following the school rules. That's just when her school he went to in Trinity. Well, eight. They had a thirteen days harder to say it is hand. None of the school people are ashamed of what they did with him. But his mother knew she can't take him there. The man had no choice but to let him leave the school. Many years later, he got rid of some school files except the little school ones. In turn to own name, he made our first films with the card cover and a tape cover and Linda Diffie. Then he moved to the Linda's digital mode camera and further he moved to the video bed camera. Um, I'm sorry to say again that he would get some little bit cameras because they will not work for long, last for long. He's using a digital net one from the nineties. Many years later, he made your service person. Yes, he did, sir. So, I think we shall have his picture. And I said not. James, I think you all shall get it. Yes, sir. James went to the father's docks to get my picture. This was trouble came to him. There was a rumble and an, and an enormous curse. The tunnel was blocked. Stuck, and I got this photo to take. 
I don't know. I'll take it. I'm terribly fat contrived to get your friends to help. Alright. Donald and Douglas have moved her, so, um. We made help with cleaning a mess. After short speech, someone pulled the cord. It fell. The villain, the photo of me and my father, with the shirt that was more than her and. It was a gnome. It's supposed to be a fantasy of it. It's a perfect thing to be part of me. Turn to second birthday. Top holders turn it to the lock of the picture. Some of the tugs came to while a god nature cut them caught. Percy was pleased. Of this party, a name for that will promise to make more stars in the years to come. That's all.